I'm down here at the University of Manitoba because this Friday I'm taking part in Bridge of Hope, which is a media challenge where local personalities come together and design and build bridges for charity. So, I'm at the Civil Engineering Department and I'm going to see if I can't get a leg up on the competition by finding out just what it takes to design and build a bridge. What is it that you do here at the University? At the university, we are looking at either a new construction, so we are looking at the new technologies, how we can build new types of bridges, or we are looking at strengthening the existing bridges. And uh, what goes on in this building here? You are standing in the heavy structures laboratory that's uh, focused on, on testing, structural testing of bridge dikes, girders, stringers, and any other structural members that may come to the lab as a research. We are looking at the model of um, popsicle stick bridge. It is a truss bridge that was built by one of our students uh, in the Department of Civil Engineering. So what's the student doing now? <laughs> well, the student is still studying, so... Good, think, let's hope so. Like, what are some of the different types of bridges? We can have bridges uh, ranging in type from a beam bridge that can span anywhere up to 60 meters to a, a suspension bridge that can bridge anywhere up to 2,000 meters. <laughs> is the Esplanade Riel considered a suspension bridge? Uh, that bridge is considered cable state bridge. This model was used to, to do some wind tunnel testing on the actual model of the bridge. Okay, so you put in the wind tunnel and uh, if it doesn't explode to pieces it works? Is that how it goes? No, absolutely. Now when you put it in the wind tunnel are you sort of taking factors that make up Winnipeg when you put in that wind or do you just blow it with air? No, absolutely. So the actual the actual data for the, of the wind yeah. forces have to be applied. So bridges would be different to that specific city? Yes. Yeah. Do you freeze it? <laughs> no, we didn't freeze it, no. <laughs> no meat locker here that you put the bridges in? We do have a walk-in environmental chambers. Do you? Yes, of course. Is it chilly? <laughs> it can be chilly or hot, depends on what you like. Do you ever crank it up in cold weather and just sit in there? Absolutely. They go, where's Dagmar? <laughs> In the sauna? Yeah. So if I was a giant downtown, this is exactly what would be happening. I noticed there's no Salisbury house on this. Well, that was still up for grabs at this point. All the truss bridges have to, um, have to be built so that you have a triangular shape. Okay. The triangle is the strongest shape. Pythagorean? Isosceles? Does it matter? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. What you see here is... We do this with popsicle sticks, but in our big lab we can do the exact same thing with a full-scale bridge. You mean you have one of these that is that big? Yeah, right now we have a full-scale bridge right in the lab and we're just getting ready to test it. So this is exactly like that little model that we yes, saw? Yes, but much, much, much larger scale. Uh, we were testing those full-scale bridge girders using this machine. So let me see if I get the process right. Someone says, hey, I want to build a bridge. And then they send blueprints to you guys. And you take some popsicle sticks out and you make a little bridge. Then you bash it with this machine. And if it smashes, you don't make it. But if it withstands all the pressure, you make it into something that looks like a guitar. And once the guitar is done, you build the actual bridge. Is that correct? No. Oh. <laughs> After coming here and learning all this, if I don't get my bridge to be golden. Oh, you will. You will. You I think so? Yeah, yeah. I'm blaming you, Dagmar. Yeah, you can certainly blame me. You won't be the first one or the last one. <laughs> Who was the last one to blame you? <laughs> I'm not sure. The mayor? <laughs>